In the last video, we saw how we can analyze datasets which are shipped with HRA Explorer. Now, we'll see how you can analyze your own datasets, which is obviously much more interesting. I have prepared a few datasets that we can use to learn how to analyze your own dataset. So this is the first uh, dataset. There are mm, six files here. These are text files. Let us just select, select all of them and upload. It takes some time to upload them because these are quite big files as you will soon see. And now all the files have been uploaded. So let's assume we don't know the structure of these files. Well, I do. I do know the structure, but you don't. Uh, but let's assume that I don't know the structure. So let's click Preview. And we can see the first 10 line of the data set and all the columns. As we can see, the first uh, column is the time, although it doesn't really look like time. Uh, the second one is the RR intervals and the third one is the flags or the annotations. The annotation of an RR interval tells us where the uh, RR interval comes from. So for example, um, for this data set, zero means that this, is, um, this corresponds to mm, two consecutive heartbeats of sinus origin and three means that it's an artifact, that it's some sort of mistake. So we can see that we have um, a really nice structure of uh, the data sets and the data that we're interested in are in columns two and three. So let's use this information. Let's put two and three in this uh, window. Uh, and now we have to tell HRA Explorer um, what's what, so um, which flag means what. So uh, the beats that have zero are of sinus origin, ventricular is one, and this is quite standard. I mean, these, these numbers to denote the, the origins are quite standard. Supraventricular is usually two, and artifact is three. So we are done. We have used all the flags that HRA Explorer found in all of the files that we have uploaded. And let's click Confirm. If this changes to green, it means that we've done everything correctly. So let's click it. Yes, it has turned green. Now we can go um, and do our analyses. For example, let's start with HRV time domain. Uh, let's click Static. So we will get uh, the HRV and HRA heart rate asymmetry for the um, data sets that we have uploaded. And we can also see uh, the Poincaré plots as you, as you saw in the previous video. We can click quality, static, and look at the total time. If you calculated it from seconds to hours, you would uh, find out that these, uh, these recordings are pretty long, around 24 hours. If we go to Fourier spectrum, you can see that you can't really select the static uh, Fourier spectrum. This is because it would take a few hours to calculate uh, the Fourier spectrum for even one recording of um, 24 hours. So we block uh, static analysis for uh, long data sets. But you can select dynamic um, analysis. Dynamic analysis is the analysis in Windows. The default behavior is to take five minutes long um, windows and uh, slide them along the recording, calculate the Fourier spectrum and uh, average. As you can see, it takes quite a long time but it's uh, it's doable. I mean, you can you can expect it to be done within a reasonable time. If we let you select static, it would take many hours, and you would most definitely disconnect from from the server. I mean, your browser would most definitely disconnect from from the server. If you click details here, you will see 
uh, the Fourier spectrums for all the individual windows for all the five minute windows that went into the dynamic analysis. I'm not doing it because this would mean uh, recalculating everything and we would have to wait again, but, but obviously you can do it. Um, and um, since this is HRA Explorer, heart rate asymmetry, um, I think that the most important thing is is the uh, is the asymmetric uh, descriptors which are which are here, and also they are in the the very important section runs, uh, so you can you can calculate the runs for all the recordings. Uh, this also takes a long time for long recordings, but in the future, in the next um, iteration of uh, HRA Explorer. This is going to be quite uh, quite fast because uh, we are rewriting it in C++. So this is going to be really fast. And we've done the runs analysis has been carried out and you can see all the asymmetric uh, consecutive runs. Uh, this is really interesting. You should check out the literature for that. Uh, we're going to add the literature to the application, you will be able to find uh, the, um, the, the literature for each analysis uh, inside the application. Okay, so this was the first data set. Now let us analyze another data set, which is a bit more problematic. So browse, and this is the data set. Again, select all the files and upload them. They're going to upload for a while because again these are quite big files. Now all the data sets have been uploaded. Let's preview them. Okay this is not as nice as the previous data set. We can see that there are um, HRA Explorer can only see one column. If we look at the data points, we can see that these are numbers which are separated by something, by white space. It could be a space, it could be a tab, it could be something. We have to try and figure out what this is. So to me, it looks like a space. Could be tab, but to me it looks like a space. So let me select space as a separator and let me try preview again. Well, it wasn't exactly space, but I was really close. Now I can see that in the third column we have RR intervals and in the seventh column we have the flags, the annotations. We could try and guess um, how many spaces there were between the columns, but it doesn't really make sense. We have all we need. We know that in the third column we have the RR intervals and in the seventh column we've got the annotations. That all, that's all we need. So let's put three and seven here. Let's wait a bit and now we have to fill in these fields. So sinus beat flag, it's probably zero. Ventricular is probably one. Uh, supraventricular is probably two and three is probably the artifact. So we can confirm, it changes to green, so we're okay. We could also uh, do without this annotation column, let's remove it, and now everywhere we have no choices. No choices means that we have not provided the annotations column and each RR interval will be treated as being of sinus origin. So if you don't have the annotations, you can still analyze the data sets, but the assumption will be that all of them come from the sinus node. Let's analyze the last data set. Very often researchers keep their data in Excel, and Excel is really simple for HRA Explorer. So let's browse for files. I'm actually in this folder. Let's select all the files and upload them. This is going to take uh, not as long as, as before because these files are short, around 30 minutes. Let's preview. We can see two columns. 
the first one is definitely the RR intervals. The second one is the annotations. We can see that the annotations are different. So let's put one and two here. And now let's try to see how we can fill out these fields. So S will definitely be uh, the sinus origin. A will be supraventricular. And the other two, I don't know what they are. They're probably some, some sort of artifact, so I, I've put them here. Let's see if everything is okay. Confirm. Yeah, choice is confirmed. Everything is okay. So we can calculate uh, the runs. We can calculate anything. If we go to the spectrum, um, Fourier spectrum, we can see that static Fourier spectrum is available. As I said, we have blocked the very long files. Um, we have blocked uh, Fourier analysis for the very long files. I think that if you if your files are under two hours, you're okay. You'll be able to analyze them in uh, in um, HRA Explorer. If they're longer, um, you will have to install HRA HRA Explorer on your own computer and then analyze them on your own computer. 